Now, I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure you heard Hogwarts Legacy was a pretty polarizing game to play. Streamers were getting canceled, harassed, accused of being bigots. Kill them all you name it. Now, if my channel were more popular, maybe I'd have thought twice before playing it. But it's not. So I said, fuck it. I'll see what all the hype is about. Damn you, wild. I'm late to the gamer, and this is just my humble opinion of Hogwarts Legacy. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps us out. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, you may not like what I have to say about what is probably the best game made in the universe. In the beginning of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough, I found myself getting wrapped up in the universe that I only superficially understood. Ah. Uh, is this like the bank? I do vaguely remember this scene like like this in the movies, but like I said, I was pretty old when they came out already. My wife is a huge Harry Potter geek. I mean huge. Her Hogwarts character's last name is Snape. If Alan Rickman rose from the dead, she'd become a necrophiliac to cross him off her bucket list. When I called him Samson Snape, she very seriously told me to put some respect on his name, but I digress. The point is, in the beginning of the game, I truly felt like the things I said and did during the game mattered. It was easy to get into the mythos. I would play evil, and not just evil, a sociopath. I lied to people that tried to befriend me, I gaslit everyone I met, and I even drove poor Sebastian into madness. I manipulated him into being so thirsty for power, he destroyed his oldest friendship, killed his uncle, and got ostracized from his hometown. At least, that's what I thought. The problem with Hogwarts Legacy is that the role-playing aspect of the game has really not existed. Everything you do has very little difference on the story. If you're bad, you'll get every spell in the game. And if you're good, you don't get the best spells of the game. And guess what? It makes no difference. Being bad doesn't make the game harder because you pick choices that negatively affect the people around you. Cursed spells don't take your life essence away or something like that. In fact, being bad is easy mode. Marking several enemies and then using Avada Kedavra will multi-kill all cursed enemies. So in the end, playing as the good guy has no advantage. And even worse, the choices that you make are all illusions. It all came down to a couple of dialogue options before the final battle of the game. And then what? You become the ultimate evil? and then you finish your semester at school. It's fucking stupid. Hogwarts Legacy, like any decent illusionist, is excellent at misdirection. Oh, look at how large the world is. Oh, there's a chow garden for your animals. Looky here, you can ride a broom. But the world is just filled with dozens and dozens of little puzzles and challenges, or you need to defeat hundreds of enemies to unlock gear abilities that you'll honestly never need and never use. The world is big, and if you're a huge fan of the Harry Potter series, I can see the appeal of being able to tramp around the world World, but there's really no point. Completing every single side activity before completing the game is like a full-time job and the exploration really isn't appealing. It's... it's like school. It's a checklist of mundane activities that gets increasingly repetitive while checking if you still remember how to do something you learned 20 hours ago. And let's just say you did do it. 100% completion. You pick the evil ending. You take all the power for yourself. You are potentially the most powerful wizard alive. Well... You just go to school the next day and no one gives a crap. It's all just shrugged off. And if there's anything more annoying in a role-playing game, it's feeling like none of your choices mattered, your character hasn't grown, and there was really no point in playing through the story you just completed. But that's just my opinion. What do I know? I'm just some guy on the internet. But what are your thoughts on Hogwarts Legacy? Are you a hardcore pothead? That's probably not what they call you guys, but I'm sticking to it. Well, let me know in the comments section. I'm late to the gamer. This is Consola Control Gaming. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me. Hit that like button, subscribe, and have a great day.